Mexico City, where, in the working-class borough of Tlawak, a new wave of migrants have chosen to settle. Following the arrival of a large migrant caravan last year, made up mostly of Haitian refugees, the city's government established a temporary camp for them in a nearby local park. But as finding asylum appointments at the US border proved difficult, many have sought to settle here for the long term. I like Mexico. Many of my friends and family want to continue to the US, but I plan to stay here to find work and start a family. But moving to a new country means adapting to the culture. However, the Creole French spoken in Haiti is a world apart from Mexican Spanish, and for migration paperwork, employment and daily social interaction, language skills are essential. That's why the local government has arranged nightly language courses to get the new arrivals up to speed so they can assimilate. Many of these migrants arrived here with the idea that Mexico was simply a transit country on their way to the US. But once they experienced the Mexican culture, they felt encouraged to settle here. So they are very attentive students and very energetic, which makes the lessons a lot of fun. For the new arrivals, these language lessons are just the beginning. James Liu Bei has attained a grasp of basic Spanish and is now taking on more of what this city's public education system has to offer in the hope of succeeding in what can be a daunting megacity. I'm studying photography, English, electronics and will soon start culinary classes. The local Mexicans have been very good to all the Haitian people. We've been made to feel welcome. They're not racist. They do not care about the color of our skin. As Mexico City's new Haitian community develop their language skills, they are set to become a valuable addition to a country that has long welcomed refugees from across the world with open arms. Alastair Bavastok, CGTN, Mexico City.